And we are back at it with another Coastal Carolina episode here on the channel. This week, it is week six against Old Dominion. Last week, we somehow beat Virginia. Um, I don't know if we should have. I threw three interceptions like an idiot. Christian Washington, though, was an absolute dog for us. Malik did his thing uh, defensively. We only had one sack. We did have one pick with Trey Brown. But a win is a win. And we are looking to get another one here today and potentially be above 500. Checking out people who are going to be visiting this week. We have Zach Cantrell visiting. And we are like legitimately in the running for him. Four-star athlete. He's going to be a defensive end. 39th in the nation. Number one at his position. And we're up by a bit. Georgia did move up. Georgia Tech moved down. But this would be a massive get for us. Another guy here visiting this week is Drew Wanger, who is another athlete. He is 106th in the nation. And this would just be another absolutely massive get. He's going to be a receiver and lastly, Lionel Westerman is also visiting this week. Four-star corner, 208th in the nation, and he's also a dog. So our three four-stars are visiting this week, and we are first for all of them. A win this week doesn't necessarily do a ton because we're expected to beat them. However... If we can even get one of the three after this week, that would be absolutely massive. So with that being said, we're going to hop in here. We're going to face Old Dominion and see if we can go above 500. And we are going to start on defense here. And we're wearing the all-black unis. I kick it legitimately 30 feet in the air. And because why wouldn't I? Why not? Grant Wilson is the quarterback, except every single stat of his was missing. But let's see what we can do here today. We're going to use Fletcher. We're going to miss a tackle. And they're going to get a gain of 15 off the rip. And they're going to go hurry up. So it's going to be interesting to see if they're a hurry up team majority of the game. As... I don't know why it doesn't have Fletcher having a job. Let's use Whitson here. Gonna dink it down low. Pinkney there to stop him. But second and one. Wouldn't be surprised if they maybe take a shot down the field here. I mean, second and one is pretty much gonna be a first down. They're just gonna go short again. Do they go hurry up even after they they do? So I feel like majority of the teams we face this year have done hurry up stuff like this I can't tell if I like it or not we're gonna use her Bruce they go to the other side of Bruce over to Fletcher it's completed and yeah I mean we can get a user here with Bruce that'd be awesome but they're gonna run it up the field nice tackle there but we're showing no signs of stopping this offense right now still is going to be third and three i don't like how our safety's playing so far back and somehow we just can't get there how do you not get there you read it too all right there you go tfl they're gonna go i mean yeah hurry up all day apparently going to call an audible here. We're going to stay in our formation. I mean, our D lineman wasn't even set. Yeah, I mean, we showed absolutely zero signs of stopping them at all, which is just not good. All right, we're going to just run it here with Washington on first down and see if the Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Week can keep it up again. Washington, big gain down the field. And that's a pretty good start for us. 
Just check down there to Bennett. Bennett find the blockers. First down. We will take that all day, every day. All right. I don't think we're going to go hurry up, though. I don't really think we're a hurry up type of team. Rather just... Like, be so real right now. Be so real right now. Heisman difficulty is like... Just not even fun. Oh, like, you're meaning to tell me that that defensive lineman at Old Dominion is going to do that. Like, he's not. So, so stupid. I mean, I don't know if I have to adjust sliders or if we just suck. But, like, I'm just showing no signs of stopping this football team right now. All right, massive third goal. Third and goal here. Just, yeah, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? If we lose this game, I don't even know what I'd say. I mean, they're one and three. Any team could beat us, though. We're not a good football team. That's just the stupidest interception I've ever seen. And I've seen some dumb ones so far this year. But that might take the cake. Just, just the defensive lineman apparently is faster than I am. If this is, if we get a three and out and they go down and score a touchdown right away, we we could actually get killed. All right, third and four here. See if we can try and get this pass concept. Just give it to Tucker. Tucker, just pick up the first down. That's all we care about. Just first down. New set of downs, move the chains, and let's see what we can do. Got him. Washington, big time gain. I just wanted to do possession catch. I'm not trying to drop that football. Just pick it up. The safety might be blitzing here. Can I put car on the opposite side? I can. I can, and it looked like it was a good adjustment. A good adjustment there. First and goal here. I mean, we might try and do the same exact thing. Move car over. Can I move over? I can't move over anything else. Nope. First touchdown. Great job. Bring it over the tight end. Tight end goes up, gets the linebacker. Walk-in touchdown for Washington. Washington is a stud. We get a much-needed touchdown here pretty much at the end of the first. It's going to be 14-7. We just need defense to do something. All right, first and 10 after we just don't make a play on the football. Shocker. Stop me if you've heard that before. They're going to go down the field. McDoom. McDoom makes an interception. Finally. We get a turnover, they go down the field, and McDoom, our star player, gets his second interception on the year. It's about time. All 35 Coastal Carolina fans are going insane. I mean, just chucked it down the field, and McDoom was able to make a play. And now is where we need to capitalize. Nice little bubble. It's fine. Pick up seven. That's A-OK -okay with me. McDoom, I really don't want him to transfer after this year. That would be terrible considering he is our best player in general and defensive player. But best player. Massive play there for Washington. Washington, he might get like some like votes for like awards if he continues this type of success all year because I feel like he's just been getting better and better I mean seven attempts for 67 yards and a touchdown so far today couple catches too fights for some extra yards didn't pick up the first but we're just gonna go right back to it 
All you gotta do is pick up an inch. He's able to do so. He gets like upended, but that's fine. First and 10 here, we're gonna try play action. I know it's not gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, I mean, it didn't really work. We, we got five yards, but like again, pressure was there right away. I'd rather Bennett, can you do, can you just like swing left here? Not that type of swing left, but. Basco, just use your, what is this camera angle? I mean, we gain 18, but I was waiting for it to be like, oh, he's officially running. No, we're just going to continue to see the whole entire fear field. Uh, what was that? We are moving now. Can I, can I do a Texas route? We can do a Texas route here with Bennett. He actually is going to gain one, so it's not a sack, but that play didn't work. Can we motion out? What? Okay. Now, I don't know what some of these... No, all I want you to do is just run it out. But I want Washington to swing across. Oh, my gosh. Car! Hold on to the football. One yard away. You know what we're doing. That's going to be a fullback dive. And it's going to be a touchdown. Cash money works every time. 14-14. We tie it up off a McDoom interception. Thankfully. I needed that. It felt like this game was going to get out of hand quick. And it still could. But for the time being, it is 14-14. All tied up. They're going to go down the field again. You got to intercept that, though. I mean, it's a great job getting a deflection. But if it's a two-on-one there, you have to get the interception. If they're going to start chucking the ball down the field, we have good rated corners. You need to capitalize on that. Fletcher, I mean, great job. Only gave up two. They're going to go hurry up. If we can somehow stop them here, this would be massive. Press up. Yep, across the middle of the field. I left my zone. That's on me. I'll put the hand up accountability right there. Left my zone. Shouldn't have. What are we doing? What are they doing here? Just gonna go back to this stack. It's gonna be a two-minute warning. We do get ball at half, so if we can somehow stop them from scoring here, we do get ball at half, and we could take advantage of it. Also, when am I gonna get fumbles in favor for me? Uh, my guys fumble once a game. I can never force a fumble. And I don't really understand why. I left that part of the field again. This quarterback, okay, he's he's just going to hurdle me. I didn't know I'm going against prime Jerry Rice out here and Joe Montana just slinging the rock. But sure. I mean, we're, we're there with Brock. Doesn't matter. They're just reading the ball so well. I don't think we can do man. I think they're going to just eat us alive if we do man. Well, they're going to eat us alive anyway because we have no one over there. We adjusted way too late. Stop reviewing them. They're touchdown. He got two feet in and even get one. Thank you for showing us again. Nice job, replay crew. What? Oh my gosh, he caught that all day. That's a touchdown. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh! What a turn of events. That was a touchdown by Old Dominion all day. I mean, he got two feet in. He didn't even get one. He got two feet in. 
That's a touchdown. If that was me right now, I'd be livid. And then he throws an interception. Right to Pinkney. I believe that's Pinkney's second on the year as well. Oh my gosh, that is just, just gigantic. We're not going to force something, but like if we can get a touchdown here before half, we could separate ourselves here. We could. Stay on your feet. I don't want to call a timeout. I don't want to call a timeout because if I call a timeout, I'm giving them the ball back. This might just be busted. Or not. Or not. Okay. 21 seconds left. I could still throw an interception, but I want to say it's a, not enough time for them to get the ball back and do something if, if they get the ball back. Oh my gosh, Vasco, you are incredible. Vasco's cooking. Vasco is cooking. Okay. Give it to him, Malik. Malik, okay, nine seconds left. We're not in field goal range yet. We're close. One more play here could get us into field goal range. No, I don't. This is going to be a false start all day. I'm doing too many adjustments. Who do I want to go for here? Get down. Time out. Try and give us a manageable field goal. 45 yarder. Can I hit this? No. Yes. Field goal is good. We steal three points out of that after they should have gotten a touchdown. Doesn't matter. That's huge. Before the half, stealing three points there. We get ball at half. Touchdown here doesn't separate the game too much because with me, I could be up 30 with a minute left and somehow lose. But it would be nice. And Simpskins down the sideline makes a man miss. Great return down to the 43. Excellent start. Now let's just go back to the... Okay, I keep calling audibles when I just don't want to be calling audibles. Just hand it to Washington. Washington gains three. That's fine. All right, third and three, fake jet. See if we can just pick this up with Washington. And we can. Massive first down. Gonna turn on a little bit of chew clock. Just a tad. Nothing crazy. Give it to Malik. I mean, he's not gonna guard anybody out there. Sure. Malik stays in bounds. First down. Clock continues to move. I mean, Vasco has this stupid interception to the defensive lineman that was just laughable other than that and Malik gets hurt that's not ideal Washington is two yards away from having a hundred this play could work a lot loading the left side of the field back shoulder yep got it to Washington massive great throw by Vasco and Washington's able to come down with it for the receiving touchdown. Massive. Christian Washington, I mean, he's a sophomore. He's a dog. Vasco just kind of throws it to the back shoulder over his head. Washington's able to get it. And we're going to be up 10 now. All right, second and 10 here. They're going to go back to the hurry up stack formation. I'm not mad about that, to be honest. I feel like our defense has kind of adjusted since the first two drives. Press up. It's only third and four. Play fake. They're going to go down the field. Jones interception! And we're going to lateral it! No! Make the mistake.
mistake, throw the interception, Palmer. But heads up play, force the fumble and recover it. First down. And David, you know the quarterback's counting as lucky stars. That was a bad decision. That I do it to myself. I do it to, to myself. My thought process was the corner behind had a ton of room. That if we could somehow get the ball to him, he could. What? Um, did I just challenge? Did I, I called a timeout, didn't I? How is that a touchdown, by the way? How does your body? This is, this is, this is, this is bad. What I was saying is, I knew the corner was behind. I thought I could lateral and have a lot of room. And it clipped the receiver's body. And just, I shouldn't have done that. I could have gone up 13 or even 17. Instead, we we're up three. Because I'm just stupid at this game. Vasco picks up the first, stays in bounds, so the clock's going to run. Like, I, I really do it to myself. I seriously do. I can't even get mad at myself when I'm just volunteering to sabotage my own game. Because it, I thought it would have looked cool. And it's going to be a false start because our linemen are just trash bags. All right, second and nine now after just our team forgetting how to play football. Vasco, pick up the first and slide. They're letting Vasco actually run. I feel like I haven't been able to do that a lot this year. This should be the last play of the third quarter, bearing something crazy. Just give it to Washington, and we'll lose a yard. Great job. That's how I drew it up. Two clocks not going to be on. All right, second and 11. See if Washington can pick up a decent bit. And he can! Washington refusing to go down! Over 100 yards on the day for Christian Washington. New set of downs. I, I think I'm going to put on conservative for ball carrier. I have fumbled and way too many times. I can't see. I can't do that anymore. I mean, Malik could be wide open. That just was busted to begin with. I should have actually kept it with Vasco and run. This isn't even a good, this isn't even a close field goal. Fourth and one like a bonehead. Okay. It's got to be a fullback dive, right? It's got to be a fullback dive. Just pick it up. Pick it up, please. I mean, what a cutback. What a cutback. First down. Clock continues to run. We've done a great job so far. This drive at extending it. And we need to just continue to do that. Pick up four. That's fine. We're in closer field goal range. Again, field goal range is never close in this game. I could have a one-yard field goal and I think I'd miss it. Washington, though, is an absolute animal. Washington is an absolute animal. I think he has 98 receiving yards, so he might legitimately be two yards away from over 100 yards receiving and catching. Malik, that jet did absolutely nothing. I mean, we might try and just swing this to Washington. We are. Make a man miss doesn't we might have actually lost a yard we didn't but it sure felt like we did I don't know if we can get him on a Texas Vasco do it yourself Vasco dives touchdown that might have been the dagger Ethan Vasco doing it himself with his legs today oh massive i almost threw the wheel route 
I really almost did. And then I just realized it would have been an interception. And for once, Vasco's actually faster than a defensive end. Extra point is good. Thank you. Third and one here. I mean, regardless, they're going for it. So they're going to get it within two tries. Does it matter? McDoom interception, his second of the game, and that is going to end it. Matthew McDoom, his second interception of the game, his third on the year. That is why he's the best player on our team. You have been McDoomed. That's so cringe saying that, but that's the game. That's the game. I'm kneeing the ball because if I don't, something would happen. We win. 31-21. And if you take away the stupid lateral, it should have been like 31-14, maybe even 38-14. We get an absolute massive win. And once again, who else but Christian Washington? The guy's an animal. Sophomore animal. And Vasco was good. 90% completion percentage. Ignore the interception. Washington sensational. And Washington also had 98 receiving yards. So he had just about 235 all-purpose yards and two touchdowns today. Just incredible. We had no sacks. But McDoom with an interception, Jones with an interception, and Dre Pinkney with an interception. And we're 3-2 and two and over 500 for the first time this season. Christian Washington is your Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Week, to no surprise. Now, how do we look with scouting? I mean, Lee Applewhite is he he is scheduled we already got cooper and he's our only guy checking wide receivers i mean drew went up just commit you need to commit before miami's visit dylan morris also needs to commit badly and i mean addison if he can commit to, that'd be awesome. Tim, we are now not number one for Tim Haslam. Okay. All right, so before we keep going, we added this gem, Victor Wood, to our board. And we are going to heavily go after him. I mean, we're in the lead for Frank, but like... What does that even do for us? He's a one-star. Tim. Uh, we do have a... I thought we already scheduled a visit. We did. Do we try and... We could sway him. With... Let's sway him with this. Maybe that... Maybe a last-minute sway for Tim would work. Sean, we are gaining incredible ground on. Four-star right tackle. Stoner, we are still in the lead on. Barely. It's literally neck and neck with ECU. Guards, Manny, we are now... Okay. Manny, I mean, we jumped out a ton. Like, a ton. Rico, we need to visit badly. We need to visit badly. Gordon Peters, he is ready to visit. So, let's visit... Oh, we just don't know anything about the guy. Like, nothing. I'm going to take away DM player. Instead, we're going to contact. Maybe we'll find out more. I did also just add these left guards. I think we're actually going to take Naylor out. But I did add another left guard. Josh Clemens, I need homeboy to commit, like, tomorrow. Quentin Hood. I mean, is he that good? He is solid. We'll go after him a little bit. 
How do we lose on Zack? No! This is not good. Ben, Ben, we're not even in the running for anymore. Lionel, you need to commit. This is this was like a good week, but not a good week. I I mean, nobody committed, and if anything, we lost guys. I mean, October, I still just, I just don't have points. This is my issue. I have 400 points. What am I supposed to do with 400 points? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with 400 points. I don't even know how to allocate them. If I even can. I, I, I feel like I just got to hope. Guys start committing. I feel like that, that's really our only hope at this point. I mean, checking out top classes, we currently have the 131st class in college football. <laughs> I, we have a three-star in the Sun Belt, which is the only three-star in the Sun Belt. And we are so close on so many guys. Like, Isaiah Norton would just be... Like, I, I just want guys now. Like, on the team. On the video game. Like, Morris Clemens, commit. Lionel, commit. Drew, commit already. Manny, I know you want to commit, kind of. And only 400 hours, there's just not enough hours for us to do anything, and it's really unfortunate. We do have 10 points here to use. I feel like... We gotta go DB, and then we gotta go quarterback. Just to find out a little bit more about them. Or make it easier when we do. But we're 3-2 and two on the year. We have JMU this week. And... I uh, feel like, you know... We're getting a little bit of a groove. Um, Christian Washington's just the guy. He's just a dog of all dogs. His stats so far have been ridiculous. Um, even McDoom now. Three interceptions. I just... I, this guy cannot transfer. He wants to leave. I don't blame him. We're not a good football team. But please don't leave. Conference standings. Where are we at here? We're now first in the East. Okay. JMU, it's a big week. Both of us want to know. We did beat Old Dominion. But big week in the Sun Belt. Second overall. 3-0 at home. We have not lost at home yet this year. Good news is we're away. So, looking to win our first away game. But that is going to do it for another episode of the Coast Carolina Dynasty. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you did enjoy. Comment if you are new. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.